It's a three mile one furlong chase race here. Number one, beat your wings, looking to follow in G.I. Joe's footsteps for Leon Van Rensburg. Bucko for Martin Leedham, Conno and Sauvage, Davy Lad, Hollywood National, Derek Hinton, Lord Butt, Jim Murray, Placebo Park for Hems, Ra Deer for D. Hooley, Sherlock Holmes, Ryan Tamasebi, Steeplejack Lad, Pontypool Racing, Stroll Wigmore, James Shea, Troop FC, Beckwith, Yossi Maith, D. Thompson, Dan Silly Fami, Alex Cherry, Ewany Talking T. Rogers, Florence Nightingale, Paul Rhodes, Harmonic Speedfit, Ryan Costello, and Supreme Cara for John completes this rather large lineup for the three mile one furlong chase race that's really going to test these horses stamina as the ground is very heavy as the rain continues to pour down at Doncaster my runner here Sherlock Holmes making up the numbers in my stable after a really poor run ran no kind of race on trials day two but still performs reasonably well at home so I thought why not let's chuck him in and see if he can crack this case here at Doncaster today three miles one furlong to travel quite a big field jumping's going to be tested stamina's going to be tested really excited to see how this one unfolds this race of course won last year by the monster that is gi joe went on for gold cup success remains to be seen whether a horse of that quality destined for such great things will win this hemsworth town maiden today as they all jump both the first two flights really quite well no mistakes to talk about so far and gi joe returning this week over in america for a group one chase race let's see if the monster is back and back at its best but we're here in doncaster very far away and we've lost very far away from america but dan silly fami we've lost that one unseated the rider towards the rear of the field for craig beckwith but the loose horse is just running alongside on the wide outside of this field. It'll be interesting to see if that one causes any havoc for this big field, but it's still at the back. Joining almost alongside Bucko, which didn't put in a particularly good jump at the rear of the field. And you can see Ewany Talker, the other back marker, is away from the loose horse over to the rail. So Ra Deer, out in the lead at the moment, jumps that one quite well. I promise I'll focus on this race instead of talking about what might be in that Group 1 chase over in America tomorrow where I'm very excited to have a Group 1 runner myself to go alongside G.I. Joe. But we're here at Doncaster seeing if we've got another G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe of Season 2. Who could it be? It's Radir at the moment out in front. Florence Nightingale looking to be another National Hunt performer for... Paul Rhodes, who we know is the master trainer on the flat, but looking to get another winner here over the sticks with Florence Nightingale. It's still Radier in the lead. You can see Beat Your Wings for Leon Van Rensburg, another highly regarded chaser from the Swartland stable. Over towards the rail in the light blue, we've got Supreme Cara, and that one's just ahead of Trooper. Lord Butt, Sherlock Holmes behind that one on the rail. They're quite bunched up and tight as they turn left-handed here. Harmonic Speedfit is the one that's squeezed right up into the rail and Stroll Wigmore has got about as much cover as you could ever wish for in a race like this. As they all get over the water jump quite quite well there, you and he talking was niggled along uh, just to try and pick up its pace out the back of that fence after a slightly slow jump. Florence Nightingale got a lot of airtime there but seemed to jump up rather than forward and that meant it surrendered second place to Supreme Cup who's now looking to close that gap on Radia. Another front runner for David Hooley. Can this one last out and avoid putting in any mistakes like its stablemate Lavender Blue did in the previous race? So it's Radia in the lead from Supreme Cara that's jumped really well so far and has moved up alongside it. Sherlock Holmes has gained a few places to go up alongside Florence Nightingale. Beat your wings racing towards the middle of the track. Conno and Sauvage alongside Trooper in behind those. Harmonique speed fit still has the rail hugs the rail in ahead of stroll wigmore harmonic speed fit made a mistake there didn't get up particularly high and just clattered through the top of the fence but landed relatively safely and hopefully the horse can just regain its composure and settle back into this race because there's still quite a long way to go we've got nine and a half furlongs i certainly wouldn't want to be making a significant mistake in a race like this because it is going to be real sapping energy sapping as they go in towards those final few furlongs so radir still has the lead after being joined briefly by supreme cara it's moved back out ahead of that one and it's sherlock holmes now for ryan tamasebi that's my runner moving up into second place now or a joint uh, share of second should i say alongside supreme cara florence nightingale is back on the rail in behind that one 
And we've got Trooper, but there's a lot of horses on the outside of that. As we've lost another one, you and he talking. It made a mistake earlier in the race. It's made a more significant one now, and it's it's unseated the rider. Harmonic Speed Fit is another one that made a mistake earlier in the race and just seems to have run its race already. It's dropped out really tamely out the back of the race, and I wouldn't be surprised if that one pulled up. But it's Radia still in the lead as we go back to the front of the field. Sherlock Holmes now has second. It's moved forward away from Supreme Cara. That one's now back in fourth as Placebo Park moves ever closer for Craig Allen in the green and gold hoops. A mistake there from Radia at the front, down on its nose, and that means it surrendered the lead to Sherlock Holmes. Placebo Park tracking that one on the outside. Beat your wings for Leon Van Rensburg. Seems as though it's been outpaced and has lost quite a few places. And on the wide outside, it's Bucko that's moved into contention, and Yossi Maith is moving ever closer into this race as they jump the next flight. Sherlock Holmes still has its nose out in front. Placebo Park in second. Radia still trying to stay with them on the rail, but it's been set in the early pace. It'll have to be some horse to pick back up as Sherlock Holmes kicks on. Final three furlongs. Really driven into that flight. What a jump there from Sherlock Holmes at the front. Took a length out the field. Placebo Park. Cano and Sauvage. Yossi Maith. It's tough to see anything else getting into this race unless they pick up real soon. Final two furlongs. Beat Your Wings is that one that's trying to get into it. Sherlock Holmes wasn't as quick at that one, but certainly didn't lose any ground on Placebo Park. Cano and Sauvage. Yossi Maith looks like it's going to run well, but I doubt it's going to be the winner. The winner looks like it's going to come from this front three as we come towards the final flight. Sherlock Holmes jumps it well, and that's going to help it hold off these challenges, is it? Cano and Sauvage and Placebo Park are trying to pick it off as we come towards the line. Sherlock Holmes is going to win it. Sherlock Holmes wins it. I'm going to struggle to hide my shock here. I cannot believe that horse has won after its performance at Doncaster on trials day. It's really turned that performance around. It's hit the front much sooner. It didn't run any kind of race in trials day too, but it's won here at 10 to 1. The bookies still had every confidence that it was a good horse, and it has won ahead of Cano and Sauvage in second, Placebo Park third, and Beat Your Wings. Well, time will tell whether that horse is as good as G.I. Joe, but it wasn't today. Sherlock Holmes with some really good jumping, of, particularly over the last three f flights, help it see off any challenger and wins it. Cano and Sauvage, Placebo Park, Beat Your Wings and Stroll Wigmore complete the top five. Really good race here, the Hemsworth Town Maiden won by Ryan Tamasebi.